Now here's the video on rendering. When it comes to getting your project out and out of Premiere Pro and out into the world, there is something called rendering. To do this, there's two different ways of doing it. If you have a number of projects you want to do at once, or if you have just one project, we're going to go over the number of projects first. When I click File, I go down to Export. In Export, I'll click on Media. And after a second or so, it's going to pop up. And in this box here, you can either match your sequence settings, but I suggest you probably go ahead with the higher bit rate. Sometimes a two, an H264 is probably one of the best at the moment. And you can see how the estimated file size is going to be. Make sure it's going to either match or go with a 1920 by 1080, a 1.0, which all this stuff is basically should be already set up in it. If you're not seeing it, then you'd have to probably go through and match your bit, uh, match the source and whatnot. But uh, if you have had it set up at the beginning of the program, at the project, then you'd see it right here. To Now you have two different choices. If you hit the Q button, which I'm going to go ahead and hit that right now just to give you an example. What that's going to do, it's going to start exporting data, and what that will do is it will open up an extra, the program media encoder, meaning that uh, um, it will f encode video or whatever video that project that you have, while and while you can still use Adobe Premiere Pro for other, any other project that you might be working on currently. And here's the media encoder screen. Now, if you had a number of different projects, as you've seen here, you can go ahead and if everything matches up to how you want it outputted, just go ahead, hit the play button, and it will automatically start rendering out all these projects for you. If you only have the one project that you want to go ahead and render out, just go ahead, click on the export media, and as I said before, make sure everything's all set up here. Click on export, and it will automatically start exporting out for you. And that's how to export in Premiere Pro.